Hello everyone, welcome to Drishti IAS. In today's video, we will be talking about the bright fireball that the skies of Delhi NCR witnessed a few days ago. And we'll discuss what could have been the possible causes behind the witness of such an event. So let us begin by understanding what the event was. So last Friday, the skies of Delhi NCR, they witnessed something unusual. They witnessed a fireball and that fireball was visibly bright. It was glowing and at the same time, it was fragmented meaning that there was not a single fireball there were multiple fireballs like a streak of fireballs visible in the sky so it was bright it was glowing and at the same time it was fragmented a lot of people they captured this incident on their phones and they were circulated around the social media and this left the people curious thinking as to what this event could have been because till now no space agency neither ISRO nor NASA or any other country space agency has clarified as to what this event was. Was this a natural celestial event or was this something else? We do not know. That is why this has led to speculations and the rise to a number of hypotheses. So we will be discussing all those hypotheses. The first one says that this could have been a meteor, a meteor or a bolide. Now what is a meteor? A meteor is derived from a meteorite and these meteorites are basically small rocks or any piece of space debris that keeps revolving around the sun. So meteorites also revolve around the sun in their own orbit and the earth also revolves around the sun in its own orbit. So when the earth and the meteorite, they cross their paths, some meteorites, they enter the earth's atmosphere. And when they enter the earth's atmosphere due to friction with the air molecules, they start burning, they start glowing up because intense heat is generated. And then from meteorites, we get meteors so a meteor or a bolide is basically a large meteor that enters the earth's atmosphere and when it enters the earth's atmosphere it burns and starts glowing up and this time of the year august september is actually the time when the Earth's atmosphere, uh, the Earth's orbit, it collides with the meteorite's orbit. So both the orbits, they cross their paths. That is why a lot of meteorites, they enter the Earth's atmosphere and they start burning up. And we see meteors. That is why this could also have been one of the possible reasons. This could have been a natural celestial event where we just saw a meteor. Because the time coincides with September. Like it's September and the time coincides with the time when both Earth and the meteor orbit, they are crossing each other's paths. So this is our first hypothesis. Then there are a couple others which are, second is about the re-entry of a Chinese rocket. So there is a Chinese rocket CZ-3B which was supposed to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere somewhere around 19th September only. So this incident took place on 19th September and this rocket was also expected to enter the Earth's atmosphere on 19th September somewhere around 5 p.m. plus minus 4 hours. So this also coincides with the time of witnessing that celestial event and this actually this entry was an uncontrolled re-entry uncontrolled re-entry because normally what would happen if we are controlling the re-entry of a rocket it should land up in an ocean but right now this Chinese rocket it entered the earth's atmosphere in India and then it fragmented in the air itself because this was an uncontrolled re-entry, it was not being controlled uh, via, manual, uh, via manual things or by the Chinese space agency, which means that what was happening, the satellite was revolving around the earth and in an uncontrolled re-entry, no thrusters are provided for slowing down the satellite. When the work is done, the satellite automatically, it starts slowing down due to the drag of the earth's atmosphere, due to the atmospheric drag it naturally starts slowing down and when it naturally starts slowing down it enters the earth's atmosphere and it basically it can land anywhere because we are not controlling it so it's not necessary that it will land in the ocean it can land anywhere it can enter the earth's atmosphere and land anywhere so this was an uncontrolled re-entry because it was not being controlled manually via any thrusters to slow down its speed so this uncontrolled re-entry predicted that this will enter the earth's atmosphere 
on 19th September somewhere around 5 p.m. plus minus 4 hours. So this coincides with the uh, witnessing of that celestial event. So this can also be one of the possible reasons that what we saw in the sky was not actually a meteor. It was basically debris from the Chinese rocket. But till now the Chinese space agency has also not confirmed anything. So we don't know. We cannot say for sure that this was that Chinese space rocket. But this can be one of the possible causes. And the third one is actually a meteor shower particularly the chai stagnant meteor shower now what do we mean by a meteor shower meteor as i already told you when a meteoroid it enters the earth's atmosphere it starts burning due to friction with the air molecules it converts into a meteor and when multiple meteors they enter the earth's atmosphere we see a meteor shower because this time the time of august september is the time when we are uh, when the earth's orbit is uh, intersecting with the meteorite's orbit that is why there's a possibility that dozens or even hundreds of meteors they can basically enter the earth's atmosphere at the same time and that is why many meteors will start burning up and what we will witness will be a meteor shower and because this event that we saw was fragmented it was not a single fireball there were multiple fireballs there is a high chance that this could also have been a meteor shower and particularly the chai signet meteor shower because this meteor shower happens after the interval of every five years and now it is supposed to happen in 2025 so this was supposed to happen in 2025 in september 2025 only somewhere between 13 to 15 september so this was slightly delayed like this event that we saw was on 19 september and this was predicted somewhere around 13 to 15 september this could also have been one of the possible things that we saw in the sky however this was slightly delayed so right now we do not know what we saw but the the evidences that we have till now they basically match with the second hypothesis but we'll have to wait till the time we get any confirmation from the chinese space agency so till now we have three hypotheses this could have been a bolide this could have been a debris from the chinese space rocket or this could have been a meteor shower the chai signet meteor shower now let us talk about the current status so as i already told you that isro has not confirmed it nasa has not confirmed it and the space agency of china has also not confirmed it so we are only studying the evidences at the moment until now no interference can be drawn so let us just wait and see uh, what the reports come out to be what the investigation says and then finally we'll be able to understand if this was a natural celestial event or was this space debris from any rocket or anything else altogether so we'll have to wait to understand what happens now let's practice a question for prelims. Which of the following best describes an uncontrolled re-entry of a rocket stage into the Earth's atmosphere? A. The rocket stage re-enters at a time and place predetermined by ground controllers. B. The rocket stage re-enters naturally due to atmospheric drag without active guidance. C. The rocket stage re-enters and is captured by another spacecraft. D. The rocket stage re-enters after being deliberately slowed down by parachutes. Select the correct answer. For more Please informative content, in like, share and subscribe. And do we not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.